Mrs. Mullen, and today we'll be interviewing her for Spotlight. Okay, so what made you want to be a teacher? Uh, so when I was a kid, I really enjoyed playing school with my sister, my friends. I liked being the teacher and making the assignments for them. Um, you know, as a teacher now, I don't just teach, I take classes too. Uh, so just a life, you know, a love of learning, uh, I'd say from, from early on, instilled with my parents, my mom ran a daycare. So I always had kids in the house, you know, doing homework and whatnot. So uh, I'd say it started at home with my mom and played school with my sisters. How long have you been teaching? Uh, this is my 15th year teaching. Um, I taught a year of third grade. I started in third grade at Drake. I went to uh, the Gilmet um, in Lawrence. I taught fifth and seventh grade there. And this is my eighth year here at the Tenney. I started in eighth grade and made my way up to seventh grade. Um, what was your favorite subject when you were in school? Um, so, as a seventh grade math teacher, my favorite subject, um, believe it or not, is math. Uh, I really enjoy science also. Um, I went to school, I got my degree in education and earth science. So I taught math and I taught science, but I'd say math is probably my, my number one. What are your hobbies outside of teaching? Um, so, believe it or not, we don't live in the building. The kids sometimes think we just do teaching, but I have a family outside of here. I have two kids, my son's 14, my daughter's nine. Uh, so I, I mean, their hobbies are, my son plays ice hockey and he plays lacrosse, so lots of time in the rinks, in the field. My daughter dances, so lots of time there. I go up to Lake Ossipee a lot, up in New Hampshire from Freedom. Um, my dad's got a boat, so water skiing and swimming. Um, I snow ski uh, with my daughter in the winter. Uh, anything outdoorsy, hiking, anything to stay busy outside. What was a moment in your teaching when you thought all the stress was worth it? Okay, this was a tough one. So I'd say that the one of the most rewarding times was watching the eighth graders last year graduate on the field at the, at the Mithman High School. Uh, so watching them graduate outside and after not being able to finish the 2020 school year, so not being able to say good luck to those students going into eighth grade two years ago, and then seeing them um, last year graduate and move on to high school and see how they've matured and grown up, um, all that stress of teaching remotely and hybrid just kind of came full circle. It was really rewarding last year to see them graduate. What is one of your favorite moments from teaching? Uh, so, <sighs> Favorite moments from teaching, I would say, maybe don't even include the teaching part of it, the school part, I, I think. Last year we did our kickball tournament, so I think doing that stuff, the kickball tournament was a lot of fun. We do seventh grade raffles, so we do a lot of ticket raffles. The kids really enjoy that. Um, we do a, I do a pie contest, which you guys sadly missed out on last year, but I brought that back this year. So um, Monday's March 14th, it's pie day, so encouraging the kids to do things and, and challenge themselves. Um, those have been some of my favorite things. What are some things that you learned from your students? Things I've learned from my students, I would say kind of like the last year watching the eighth grade graduate. Um, so I would say persistence pays off. Um, I would say to laugh every day. I, I bring, I tell stories about my kids every day. You guys know that. So just trying to like relate to the kids and um, try to laugh every day. I think I've learned that, kind of take a break from the school, you know, get to know them and, and, and uh, breathe a little bit. Um, and I guess my students have taught me that you have to not crease your sneakers and you have to kind of be careful with how you walk if you have your new shoes. So that's one thing that I've learned, another thing I've learned. <laughs> and what was your favorite year class? Like what was your favorite class? My favorite year class. So this is really tough. Um, I'd say I, it's really hard to pick a favorite, favorite year. Um, I mean, when I came into the building, when I came into the Teddy eight years ago, I started, I started in eighth grade. Um, so those two years are really memorable. I was trying to, you know, in, coming from Lawrence into a new district. Um, so I, everybody here is, is just wonderful to work with. 
So eighth grade was, was fun because we had Candy Lake and the cruise and all that stuff. Uh, but every year, and then I made my way into seventh grade and every year it's just been so different. Right? There's been great things about every year. Okay, well, thank you for interviewing with us. Thank you, I'm so happy that you guys brought this back. Thank you. Hello, um, my name is Madison Perry, and today I'm going to be interviewing Krista. She's an eighth grader who was in Miss Mullins' class last year, so she's going to be basically um, talking about her experience with Miss Mullins last year. Okay, so first question is, do you think you were your teacher's favorite? If not, who do you think was the favorite? I think I was her favorite because she always let me do, like, help out people in math class, and she never really yelled at me on, like, Lucas and other people. Okay. For the second question, it's what does your teacher always say? She always told Lucas no whining and always told Travis it's people to get Travis a blanket. Okay, for your last question, we have how old do you think the teacher is? If you know how old do you think they were before they told you? I think they're like 40. Did you ever think so? This is the best of you. I never found out about the age. Okay, so now we're um, interviewing Callie. She was another one of Miss Mom's students last year. So, first question is What do you like about Miss Mom? I like that she always tried to make math fun and like would try and do it in ways that would get the kids engaged. The next question is How is this teacher different from the other teachers you've had? I think she's different because she tried to make it special for everyone in a way that only would like get them engaged and then do it for different kids. Okay, so the last question is, what do you think your teacher is like outside of school? I feel like outside of school, she's like how she is inside of school where she's very like fun and likes to try and make everyone happy and laugh. We want to thank Ms. Mullen for giving us an amazing 7th grade experience, even through COVID and all the rough times we had. Hi, my name is Sarah e. Diaz and I'm here interviewing Ms. Hogan, who's a 3rd grade teacher in Lowell School. Um, what is your favorite subject to teach? I would say my favorite subject is writing because through writing, students are able to express their own creativity and they're allowed to, I'm just, I can see a different side of their personality and that's what I love. I can see which students love to be silly in their writing, which ones prefer to learn about nonfiction. And I just, I love teaching them how to express their personality through their writing. And over the course of a year, I see a huge difference. We publish a book every year um, and it's just, I would say that is the one of the subjects I'm most passionate about for sure. What are your favorite hobbies? That's a tough one. Um, drinking coffee for one. Can't survive without it. Uh, but really, I would say my favorite hobbies. At home right now I have two young kids so it's not really something I do for myself but just hanging out with my family, taking my kids to the park, doing things like that. I do like sitting and journaling and just taking that time for myself or I love running when it's nice out and um, just pretty much doing anything outside on a nice day. I absolutely love it. What made you want to be a teacher? So I originally was accepted to college for physical therapy and I thought I wanted to do something more on that aspect but something just didn't sit right with me and so I um, I don't know, I just, different people in my life had told me they thought I'd be a great teacher. I've always loved working with kids and just my, I'm a very silly kind of person. They thought I would just make a great teacher. So I decided to switch my major and give it a try and I love it. But I also, I had certain teachers in my life who really made an impact to me. And I wanted to see if I could be that for other kids. I wanted kids to, I don't know, I just wanted to inspire others and I wanted to be able to make learning fun and all these different aspects of teaching that I love. And one of my high school teachers was at my wedding and our DJ was my husband's physics teacher. And so it, 
just knowing that there were teachers out there that felt so important to us that we wanted them to share important moments in our life um, kind of inspired me to give teaching a try and I've never looked back. How long have you been teaching? This is my 10th year of teaching, my seventh year at the Tenney. I started my career teaching in Lynn, but then I moved away from that area and the commute was just crazy. So I got the job at the Tenney and um, I started in second grade and then I've been in third grade for six years. What are your favorite end of the year activities? I miss fun day. Uh, that's one of the, I feel like that's one of the most memorable things for students is fun day when they have all the activities outside and we have our time slot we're just out there they're with all their friends and there's some music playing and usually it's a nice day out and it's it's just so much fun to see students in that unstructured environment seeing who they hang out with outside of the classroom and you can really see more of their personality come out which is something that i love to see in my students how would you get to know your students hmm I get to know my students by, first of all, making sure that I'm being myself. I'm a very silly, goofy kind of teacher. And so I find that if I am being open and honest with who I am and if I'm having a tough day, I'll, I often even let the students know, like rough morning at work or at work, <laughs> at, um, at home, you know, Mrs. Hogan doesn't have as much patience today. Just letting you all know, we all have those days. And even just something simple like that helps the students open up to me more and allows them to feel comfortable being themselves, whether it's that super silly side that sometimes students like to hide or um, even students coming in sad or frustrated. I always want students to show up and be themselves. And one of the big ways is making sure that I'm showing up and being myself you know, with them. And I love to have some unstructured time in the day, um, whether it's brain breaks. Right now, of course, we listen to the Encanto soundtrack constantly. Um, so whether it's having the students belt out a song as a class or putting on some Go Noodle and having them dance around and be silly, whatever it is, those little moments really help me get to know who they are as people um, so much. And it's one of my favorite parts of teaching is getting to know each kid. How do you spend your summer vacation? Oh, summer. <laughs> I know, I can't wait for summer. Um, my husband's also a teacher, so we have so much fun over the summer. So we are both off, neither of us work during the summer, and we just spend the whole summer with our girls going on local adventures to the park, going into Boston, the museums and all that fun stuff, and just enjoying being together as a family and not having to worry about getting up early and working and coming home and packing lunches and all that stuff that can be very stressful in a day. So my summer is just spent doing whatever. We go to the beach a lot. We absolutely love the beach. Um, and yeah, just being active as a family, it's, oh, it's a lot of fun. How would you compare your first year of teaching versus now? Um, I always like to say that I wish I could go back to my first my first class that I had and apologize to them because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I got my job right out of college and college prepares you for some part of it, but not for a lot of teaching. So I was thrown in needing to learn how to manage a large group of students, also how to plan with colleagues and how to teach the Massachusetts curriculum, all the stuff that teachers are required to teach. So it was very overwhelming. And, uh, you know, now every year you kind of learn more and more about what to do, what not to do. You make a lot of mistakes as with trying anything new. So I feel now I am a much more capable teacher. I know how to teach everything. I'm able to differentiate from my students a lot better because I've already taught everything in multiple different ways. So I'm able to just, um, you know, do what I need to do to help each and every student, which I didn't have the tools to do that uh, when I first started. What other grade would you like to teach? None. <laughs> I absolutely love third grade. 
Um, I started here in second grade and I liked it, but once I got to third grade, I just felt like these were my people. I absolutely love the third graders. And <laughs> um, it's just such a, it's a great age. I have a lot of fun with them. They're able to be independent, um, but at the same time, I'm still able to help them as much as I need to. It's, there's just so much I love about teaching third grade. Would your students be surprised of what you're like outside of school? Absolutely not. I am a big goofball in school and I am just the same outside of school. I am very silly. I like to have fun. I like to just do silly things. And sometimes I'm teaching a lesson and I'll just break out into an accident, accident, oh my gosh, <laughs> accent, or I'll, um, you know, break out in song or just silly things like that that really help get students engaged. I do the same thing with my own kids at home. We're dancing around to the Encanto soundtrack constantly and we're just being silly and goofy. And that's my personality. And so they definitely wouldn't be surprised at how I am at home. And what you see is what you get. That's good. Um, that's it. Thank you, Miss Hogan. Thank for you. Letting me interview you. Absolutely. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brooklyn and I'm interviewing Kaysen. So, what do you like about your teacher? Um, that she always gives out so many blue slips. Like she said, she's a total goofball. Um, I really like how um, she like teaches stuff. She gets very detailed in the, it. We're not just like, okay, just go do your work without like any instructions. Um, she just gives us a time limit, but that's that's obviously fine because we do need time limits. Um, she um just she just random sing alongs after stuff like that. I really like when she does that stuff. That's great. Hi, I'm interviewing Austin, and today, what was your favorite thing that you did in class? My favorite thing that I did in class, that's actually a complicated question, because Miss Hogan always does like fun things with us. Like we do go noodles, they're really fun. And we also do fun work, like silly work, like like um, show, show related work. And I don't know. My favorite thing about this class is actually everyone. That's nice. We're with Logan, and um, what is your favorite subject that Miss Hogan um, teaches? Mm, there's a lot. Um, for me, it is um, it's science. Science. Because so you get to do like fun experiments and stuff. What's your favorite experiment? Uh, the um, the like um, like um, when there's like rotations and you get to walk across a room and like. To test different things like those. That's cool. 